Baylor and Utah college football pick for action on Saturday. Baylor 1-0 after their 45-3 home win to FCS Tarleton State. The team finished 3-9 last year for head coach Dave Aranga, who enters his fifth year, and he's on the hot seat. The Bears returned nine starters on offense, nine to the defense. Baylor put up only 22 points per game last year, three yards per rush. They threw for 276 yards per game, 7.3 yards per pass attempt. Defensively, they allowed 36 points a game, 5.1 yards per rush. They allowed 66% completion rate, 8.9 yards per pass attempt. Why for Aranga defense, that is pretty bad. Naquan Finn transfers in from Toledo to start a quarterback. Last year, he completed 63% of his passes with 8.4 yards per pass attempt. He rushed for 563 yards, 4.6 yards per rush. Now Utah 1-0 after their 49-0 home win to FCS Southern Utah. The Utes finished 8-5 in 2023 for head coach Kyle Winningham. Returning our six starters on offense, nine to the defense. The team put up only 22 points per game last year with 4.2 yards per rush. They threw for only 165 yards, 6.4 yards per pass attempt. On defense, the Utes allowed 20 points per game, 3.1 yards per rush. They held opposing quarterbacks at 59% passing rate. 7.2 yards per pass attempt. Utah inexperienced at the running back position and offensive line. Cameron Rising returns under center after an injury caused him to miss last season. In two full seasons, he completed 64% of his passes, 7.8 yards per pass attempt. He was efficient in the win against Southern Utah. You know, line and running back inexperience a concern for the Utes. Finn is a dual threat quarterback that can keep the Bears competitive here. 18 starters returned for Baylor. Player will be Baylor plus 14 and a half.